Dinosaurs are some of the most exciting creatures to have ever walked the Earth. But have you ever wondered how they got their names? Let's travel back to a time when the first dinosaurs were being discovered, and scientists were eager to give them names that they would be known by forever. Discovering dinosaurs it all started in the early 1800s, a long time ago. Fossils, those are bones turned into rock, began coming out of the ground in places like England and North America. Scientists who study these fossils are called paleontologists. When they first found these big, mysterious bones, they had to figure out what kind of animals they belonged to. Surprise, surprise, they belonged to some gigantic reptiles that no one had ever seen alive. The birth of dinosaur names the very first dinosaur to receive a name was Megalosaurus, meaning Great Lizard, in 1824 by a British scientist named William Buckland. Not long after, Iguanodon, which means Iguana Tooth, was given a name by another Brit, Gideon Mantell. Naming dinosaurs became quite an adventure for these scientists. How the names are chosen now, when paleontologists find a new dinosaur species, they follow a special set of rules to decide on its name. The name usually comes from Greek or Latin words because these ancient languages help scientists all over the world understand what's special about the dinosaur. The name could describe what the dinosaur looked like, how it behaved, or even where it was discovered. For instance, the name Tyrannosaurus rex means tyrant lizard king because it was huge and likely ruled over its environment. Triceratops, on the other hand, means three-horned face, a perfect name because of the three large horns on its head. Who decides the names? You might think that just one person would pick a name, but it's often a team of scientists who work together. These scientists write papers about their discoveries and send them to special publications. Before a name can be officially used, other scientists review these papers to make sure everything makes sense. Why names matter giving names to dinosaurs is important because it tells us a lot about their lives. It can hint at the climate of their time, their diet, and even their predators or prey. These names help scientists communicate precisely about each dinosaur, no matter where they are in the world. Fun facts around dinosaur names Did you know that even kids sometimes get a dino named after them? Yup. For example, Minmi, a tiny type of dinosaur, is affectionately named after Minmi Crossing in Australia and has wowed many young dinosaur fans. So next time you hear the name Velociraptor or Brachiosaurus, remember it's not just a name, it's a clue to an ancient world where these magnificent creatures once roamed.